Yeah, I mean, I can imagine that. I mean, yeah, I can imagine that. I mean, you know, some of them definitely have have uh, headgear on and stuff. But yeah, I can imagine some bad injuries, mm-hmm. especially if you're trying to do trying to do tricks on them. Have you ever Have you ever been on a motorcycle? No, never been on a motorbike. Not except for at the, uh, you know, not except for the, the fake ones at the uh, the New York State Fair or something. Oh, wow. Was that, was that like a kid. ride you could do? Yeah, it's for, it's for little kids, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about you? You ever been on a motorbike? Never. I mean, yeah, that's why, that's why it's always sort of remained like a romantic, I guess, sort of a romantic kind of notion to me but I've never never actually uh, never actually been on on one okay. just just a regular bike would be nice now that I now that I think about it I haven't actually even even biked even done even done on a regular bike in in years and I, I I kept meaning to I kept meaning to get one when I was in the city but never uh, somehow never got around to it I um, I should I should I should look into that because even just just biking was one of my favorite things to do yeah. as a kid like there was yeah, a big true. there was a big our house was at the bottom of a big hill and I just loved to uh, I just love to go down that hill at top speeds mm. Yeah, I remember I had some speed stuff when I was young. I mean, one day I took it. I don't know. I don't know if it was just the speed I was going, but I I feel like I just lost focus and was looking at something and wasn't paying attention where I was going, and I fell off. Like I didn't get seriously hurt or whatever, but it was definitely like skinned, you know, skinned my knees and Oof. and legs yeah. and stuff. But yeah, when I was growing up, we used to have some nice hills around the neighborhood you could definitely have some fun have some fun going down those hills at top speed oh yeah yeah i miss i miss i miss that (laughs) it's just like a real adrenaline rush yeah and then uh when i was younger i was in japan for like six weeks for like a student exchange thing and we rode our bikes to school every day, but it was like, it was like quite a ride. I think it took us like, like an hour to get there or something. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. In Japan, um, I mean, I imagine where, 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 where in, where in, where in Japan were you? Uh, it was a place called Kanagawa Ken. Oh wow, was that um, was that like? I mean, all of pretty much all of Japan is like like very very urbanized like it's a very like densely populated country yeah. right yeah this was um yeah it's a very densely populated country i mean the, uh, especially if you get up to the fourth island uh there's like mountains and stuff like that but i wasn't on the four i was like on the second island um but uh the folks i stayed with they did have like a place they went to farm i don't know if they just rented it or if it was just like a shared space with other people or what have you. So there was that, but I would say Kanagawa Ken was like a mid-sized city, you know, definitely not like a New York city or a metropolis, but definitely not like, you know, a small podunk town, you know, they had a nice transportation system and stuff. That's I remember cool. getting, getting on the bus going somewhere. Are you still um, are you still in in touch with the, the with anyone you met back then? No, unfortunately, I'm not. No, I lost touch. Well, that sounds like a really cool experience. I sometimes wish I'd done something like that when I was younger. Or even had done like a semester abroad in college, uh, just because uh, I mean, uh, just because I, I I I mean, I just want to travel more in general so yeah that's definitely definitely something that i'm hoping to do as soon as as soon as uh as soon as things get somewhat back to normal as soon as you know covid ends i guess (laughs) yeah yeah i definitely want to travel too 
I definitely, my cousins were talking about going back to Ghana next year. My father was talking about going back to Ghana in 2022. Um, I definitely want to go back to Ghana, but I do want to go to places that I haven't been to also. I kind of had a thing for like wanting to check out Jamaica. Um, I mean, there there's lots of places I'd like to go, but... Yeah. One I wanted to check out is uh, Cuba, Cuba, just because I, oh, I, yeah. I think it would be really interesting to just see what it's like to actually be in, in a communist country, like before before Cuba really starts to change. I, I think it would just be incredible to see what, what Havana would you, is like would today. You make a plan, would you make a plan to go there? I would totally make a plan, yeah. Yeah? Because I've <laughs> Cuba's been like at the top of my list for a while. And oh. I think like the last time I mean I, I had read um I had read one of the books, uh one of the um what's the writer's name? He's like a gonzo journalist. He's like um he's been played by um by Johnny Depp. Oh Hunter also, S. Thompson. Yeah, Hunter S. Thompson. I think one of the one of the movies that I watched, I realized I think I had read the book also. I think it's the one where he there's like a beautiful woman and there's like a, I think he's working for like a small paper and there's like some revolution happening or something like that. Um, yeah, they only have so many movies. So it's one of yeah, it's one of the movies, but it just reminds me of um, when I think of Cuba, I think of like a, I think of like Sienna, you know, colors and like old school cars and like good rum, you know. Yeah, definitely. I would I would totally be down to uh, to to plan a trip down there. That would be a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I, I I'm I'm down to go. I'm definitely down yeah. to go. Yeah, we should, we should, we should definitely, we, we should definitely do that. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Yeah, and it's always, because it's always more fun, I think, when you travel with people, because I've, I've traveled, when I've traveled, I've traveled a lot on my, on, on my own, and, and sometimes I, I get, like, um, I, I get, my, I get a, just my, like, wit, wit ends, I mean, I just end up, some, like, like, a couple times, I've ended up, like, just because of, how disorganized I am, like just not leaving wherever I was staying for a long time or just being really bad with um, figuring out what to do. So it's fun. It, I think yeah. it would be fun to travel with others. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yep. No, I'm, I, yeah, I always, I always have a good time, uh, you know, hanging out with folks just like, uh, you know, check out, check out the town, hopefully meet some strangers and like have some drinks with folks and, yeah. Hang out at some beach houses. Meet some senoritas. Yeah, meet some senoritas. Uh, go to like some, uh, go to like some places where they're like playing music and just doing all the, doing all the artsy stuff too, you know? Yeah, that sounds like a blast. Maybe see the uh, see the doctor while you're while you're down there. Take advantage. Yeah, exactly. Of that. Take advantage of the healthcare. <laughs> yeah, free free healthcare. Yeah, doctors on um, on every uh, every every street corner. Like even it's 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 really amazing when you think about how in so many ways their system runs better than ours does. Like between that and um, and just the fact that like something only like six or seven people in Cuba have ever died in a hurricane we can compare to thousands in the US um, cuz because they have a better like civil civil evacuation system oh wow okay yeah. i didn't know that yeah i've i've read that like in cuba i mean they've been hit by all the same hurricanes we are but they basically have have a system where people know that in the event of a hurricane they can go to this safe shelter and like everyone is assigned a shelter and um and like like a, a friend of mine actually pointed this out in a post on his wall that I thought was really interesting and said, compare that to uh, to the U.S. where if anybody tried to introduce 
a system like that in the US, it would probably be lobbied heavily against until it was watered down or killed by the private uh, hotel lobby and now by Airbnb too, I imagine. Right. The hotel lobby, that's a funny, uh, funny combination of words. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even I didn't even think about that, but yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's, there's a good there's a good joke to be written there. Yeah. <laughs> what about um, COVID? Do you know how they handled that? Um, I I don't I don't I don't know actually. I would need to look that up. I do know that uh, Vietnam, I think, interestingly, handled COVID better than almost anyone. Like they had almost zero casualties. I think. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, this is like, uh, this is amazing. Like, we, we have to, we have to get out of this. Like, I mean, you can't, you can't even, like, hug people anymore. Yeah, you it's, know? it's just, it's just mind-blowing, like, the fact, yeah, the fact that we're basically in a situation where, yeah, we've had so many people have just been forced to put their their lives on on hold for an indefinite period yeah and it's and let's i feel like um i it reminds me of like war movies i see where people talk about all the things they're going to do when the war is over i mean that's like such a cliche but like now now that we're living through something like that and we're all talking about what we're going to do when this is over i feel like i can empathize with that in a way in a way that never seemed possible because it's 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 like something that in america um like just just not in living memory have we experienced this kind of collective disruption to our lives yeah you know i'm part of me is like you know i have vacation i haven't used work is telling us like hey you know definitely after this I can't remember if they told us like after the elections or even like up to the elections, like definitely schedule, you know, a day off here and there. Like don't work yourself to death. I'm thinking like, I'm not even really looking forward to taking a vacation. If it's just going to be another staycation, you know? Exactly. And like, and it's not like, you know, it's not like I have anything against it per se, but I've just taken my share of staycations, you know? And especially like yeah. a, a COVID staycation is even worse, you know? That's that's the truth of it. I mean, I feel, yeah, I feel like, I, I feel like I've had a lifetime worth of staycation at, at this point, basically. I mean, I mean, given the fact that I've, worked from home for most of this and then when I haven't been I've just been just sitting around the house doing nothing I mean that's why yeah the thought of taking yeah taking staycation days where you just you know hang you know, just hang around the apartment for the house that 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 it does sound pretty terrible yeah that sounds like just push <laughs> just push my vacation <laughs> until when the shit clears up exactly I mean, it's it's amazing when I look back. I feel like there's so many nights just in normal times where I would hear about something going on and I would just think, you know what, I'm just too tired. I'm gonna, you know, stay home tonight. I feel like after this, I, I, can, I, I could never do that again. Like at, when it's possible to hang out with people, I feel like I'll probably, I, I might just be wanting to hang out with like someone every, every every night like it just it's just um it's just it's just i think i think i think yeah i think we i think i've gotten a lifetime's worth of just nights where i hung around the the house doing nothing yeah i could definitely you know go for just like a cool place where you know, maybe there's like, maybe it's like on a beach or something. And um, it's just like a beach house. Maybe it's got some bikes, little table tennis in there. Nice little 
jacuzzi or something. That sounds amazing. Definitely, um, definitely, I, and if you can add a canoe, that's always that's always great. <laughs> I've had some great times yeah. just floating on canoes. Yeah, that would that would be that would be that would be a blast. Um, and yeah, yeah, preferably like just right on um, on the beach somewhere or something. Yeah. Or or in the woods or what what whatever, just just in a nice you know get a, get away from it all. Yeah. Vacation yeah. location. Yep. Place with like a nice porch or like a nice enclosed porch or something. Totally. It sounds some cars, amazing. Drinking some drinks. Yeah. All right. Well, we should stay yeah, we, on this. Um, stay on this plan for Cuba. Yeah. Let's, now, let's, now that I finally have a uh, passport, you know. Yes, and I will get. I will get mine renewed. We'll, we'll definitely, definitely look, uh, look, look toward, look towards that at some point in the next couple of years, hopefully. Cool. Yeah. 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 Well, let me, yeah. Let me know how soon, because. You know, like if things clear up, you know, I definitely like to go sooner than than later. Um, yeah, me too. Actually, absolutely. Um, let's see. What was I gonna say? Yeah, so I'll check. I'll check to see what that's uh, what that's like getting over to Cuba. Um, yeah, I might even like, you know, want to go for like a little while. You know. Just oh, like I, blow, uh, blow like a week or two or something. Totally, yeah, and that that would that would be a fun thing to look into, like what you were sort of envisioning, like if if we could, you know, find a situation where you can, like rent rent a house along along the along the beach for like a week or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'd be dope. Totally. Yeah, even if you have to like invite more people and like split the cost or or something, you know. Yeah, the more more the merrier. I mean, maybe maybe that maybe that would be where we did our our in person show, just live. It's that ish live uh, from Cuba. Uh, oh, that would be cool. That yeah. would be very cool. Yeah, that's a, that's a great idea. <laughs> totally. Word. Okay. Well, we'll put that into the uh, put that into the ether. See what folks uh, think. Absolutely. Yeah. That's in in the in the um in in the ideas basket. Like as soon soon as it's possible just let's just end COVID. so stay 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 home stay home everyone and, and your reward will be an in-person show live from cuba for for all all seven of our fans yeah <laughs> <laughs> hopefully more fans uh, at some point soon yeah that's why i think um i, I think i think that i think that's something a way of i don't know maybe boosting audience would be to uh just have like that marathon election night show um you know it'll be a lot a lot more fun than uh, a lot more fun than than cnn or or what have you or any any of the networks you could be watching yeah well you know um yeah that's an interesting thing maybe one way i can boost the show is like some of the people that i'm making phone calls with you know i can like invite them onto the show you know that's a really good like, idea yeah. yeah like you guys help make this happen and you know, and they could tell some of the stories. They'll definitely have stories of some wild folks from Wisconsin, who uh, you know said some said some wild stuff to them on the phone. I think that, I would, think that would make for an awesome election night show. Yeah, <laughs> word. I, I think I'm gonna start uh, start putting that out there. Cool. hopefully hopefully as many of us uh could be could be around for that as possible yeah yep so the interesting thing is that night we're probably we're probably not what do you think we're probably not going to know the results of the election until you know maybe a few days out unless it's that's a blowout true. that's true yeah and right. um you, yeah i mean even and even if it is even if it is a relative a uh, blowout or a relatively comfortable Biden win, yeah, we might not know just because of the uh, mail mail situation with the mail-in ballots. So yeah. um, 
Yep. So, so yeah, we're going to, um, I mean, we might have a good, we might have a fairly good picture of it based on projections, but yeah, the night itself definitely going to end on an uncertain note. Yep. Word. Well, all right, man, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to kick it, kind of wind down, try to, uh, watch one of these good movies we've been talking about. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe uh, check in with you tomorrow. You got anything going tomorrow? Tomorrow, no, I'm pretty, pretty, tomorrow's I'm pretty free all day, so I might be down to do another one of these. Um, yeah, um, so so what, what was that movie you mentioned earlier, Con Contagion? Oh, Contagion, yeah, Contagion's yeah. good. Yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll see if I can find, find that and watch it tonight. Yeah, yeah, you should. Yeah, I'd, mm -hmm. I'd definitely be interested in uh, what you think about yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. I'd be down. That'd, that'd be a fun thing to talk about. Yeah, that was, you know, that kind of reminds me. Me and Ish kind of kind of uh, circled around this a little bit, but never really got to the middle of it. But, like, sometimes he's like, oh, man, you watch this and this on YouTube. You should tell me about that. Like, I, I watch YouTube stuff, too. And I'm like, or oh, we'll be talking about certain episodes of shows that we've been watching, but we could, you know, we could get into, um, you know, like watching movies and then coming back and, you know, either critiquing them or just like talking about them and stuff like that too, you know? I think that would be a lot of, a lot of fun. Just, just a show devoted, yeah, purely, purely to talking about, uh, about movies or yeah, we could have it a regular recurring feature like a movie movie of the week that we just we just analyze and and break down and i guess either i guess we could do both i mean i mean i guess you were i mean i mean it would be fun yeah if we all watched it separately and then talked about it but then maybe we could also have a segment where we do it like mystery science theater right. 2000 style <laughs> yeah yeah well if we do that we should pick we should pick a, a movie that's like nice and stupid like um karate kid 3 I think yeah. that would be that would be great to uh, pick apart. That would be hilarious. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Word. All right, man. So uh, I'll check you tomorrow. Probably, right. uh, you know, maybe on the earlier side of like the afternoon or something. Definitely, that sounds good to me. Okay. All right. All right. Peace. Peace. Have a great night. All right. Care. You too. All right. Bye.